Hey guys, Bushcraft Family back again with another review. Um, if you're looking for a uh, bushcraft type knife, hunting knife, survival knife, whatever the case may be, um, for under 50 bucks, you don't want to spend a whole big chunk of change on on a knife or whatnot. Um, I was sent this knife, um, which is one of the first knives I've I've been sent by a company and. Uh, it's a very nice knife. It has a, a Kydex uh, case or whatever you want to call it. I, f I think it's Kydex, something like that. But I opened it up and I was quite surprised because I, I figured w when I opened this up, it was going to be like w one of those really cheap uh, knives. And when I felt the, the edge on this, I was quite surprised how sharp this thing is now i'm not going to go out and show you guys uh patoning this thing or anything like that it's just a, a quick review on on this knife as you can see it's a um if i can get it to show it just right there we go a nerd nerd foss i think it is ned foss something like that not nerd god ned foss um like I said, it's a very sharp, sharp knife. It's got a nice blade. It's a must that any uh, survival knife, bushcraft knife, have a full tang. That that way you can baton this thing. Um, and it's very, very strong looking steel, I might add. And I, one thing I noticed on here, I thought this thing was just a a nice place for to hold your thumb to get a good grip on it. But the more I looked at this, the more this reminds me of a good area for striking uh, a ferrocene rod. Uh, normally, you would get on the edge of the edge of a knife right here, um, which you, you still can right here. But this gives you a big area for striking, and it's very, very sharp right here for for that, and not saying that's what that's for but that would be my guess if you get a, a small enough uh ferrocene rod that fits in there that would be so perfect um for for a striking area i don't have a small one like that on me or i would show you i have i have the large ferrocene rods but again like i said this is a full tang um I'm not sure of the dimensions or anything. I think the blade is three and a half inches long. Um, right to there. It's got a flat edge and everything. Uh, the handle is fiberglass. Um, very, very nice. Comfortable. Got a very nice grip on it. Um, again, you could probably take these off and uh, get some custom wooden or ivory or something on there if you would like but i kind of i kind of i like like the design of this um and it's it's a good grip especially if it was wet or something and we go to the case here and it also has to where you could actually adjust these to go to a certain size and i forget where it's at i think it's right here yeah there's somewhere right here to where you flip that or something now I'm probably looking right over it or something but anyways you 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 can adjust this to wherever you want to you can move it up or down you can make the the opening smaller or bigger for this depends on your belt or whatnot and I'm probably just overlooking this but there there is a way you push this or something like that I don't know I did it when I first first got it because I started playing with it and whatnot and what's cool is this locks right in but like I said guys this is a very inexpensive knife if that's what you're looking for for a just a all around just go out and beat it up and see how how well it works type of a knife um, and again, it has a very nice edge on it, very sharp. Ouch. Yeah, very sharp. Very good knife. 
and like I said, it is a Ned Foss N E D F O S S knife. Uh, I don't know if anybody's familiar with the knife company or whatnot, but um, for I think it's like thirty-five bucks. You can't go wrong on something like that. A full tang, really thick. Uh, knife you got right there it's good for a, a ADC an extra um, for a bug out bag or whatnot and like I said the 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 case itself or the sheath is very nice for which has that that the little locking the kydex has a very nice little locking to where it won't come out you don't have to have an extra strap to Clap, clamp it in or anything like that but it's a very cool knife and I thought I would give you guys a, a nice little review on this if I can get it in the camera there there we go um, but there you have it a nice knife for under 50 bucks uh, you can't go wrong on something like that but there you go I'll put the links and everything down below so you can check it out for yourself until next time I want to thank everybody for watching Please like, share, comment, all that stuff, and as always, God bless.